What up, gang? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Welcome to another Sunday of YouTube Church. I hope God's done big things this past week in your life, and I hope you're expecting Him to do big things in the week to come. I want to talk to you today about becoming interested in the things of God. There's an old saying I heard uh, probably four or five years ago. It said, finding is reserved for the searchers. Remember that one. Finding is reserved for the searchers. It reminds me, when I was in Alabama, this was I don't know, 18 years ago, I sold front doors for a living. And we had all these catalogs, all this big showroom, and I was so saturated with my mind on those front doors. Everywhere I went, when I drove down the road, when I drove in neighborhoods, when I went to a friend's house, whatever, all I saw was that front door. My mind was so programmed, you see a house, a front door, a commercial building, a front door, a, anything, going to the gym, going to church. I just noticed this front door. Why'd they go wood? Why'd they go metal? Look at that design. Because my mind was so infatuated with front doors. That's what I was around all the time. Do you know the things of God are the same way? Many people wonder why they can't get close to God, why they can't see God all around them, but they're not searching for him. If you can train your mind when you get up and see the sunrise and say, thank you, God, for this beautiful creation, you have relationships. Thank you, God, for the people around me that you've allowed me to be in contact with. Thank you, God, for this great job, for these finances you bring. Thank me. Thank you, God, for this great church you've given me. Thank you for this spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or these children you give me. Whatever it is, become interested in God, his creation, and what he's doing around you. So, so many people I, I find these days, it's like they're just not even, it's like God doesn't even cross their mind. You, uh, you might ask someone if they're a believer or a follower of Christ, and they're just, they're, they're so casual about it. I'm thinking, do you even care? The Bible says, are you hot? Are you cold? Or, you know, we can't be lukewarm and just kind of, uh, uh, I think what's the old, uh, is it Spanish or French? Come see, come saw. I love that term. Come see, come saw. Just kind of lackadaisical. We can't be this way, gang. Life is too short, too fragile. We must become interested in the things of God. Um, there's one verse in the Bible that says, Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and these things will be added unto you. Jesus plus nothing equals everything. So you have everything without Jesus, you have nothing. But you have Jesus plus nothing else, and you have everything you need in this lifetime. Because he is our creator. He's the one who, who has given us life. Not, not only in the life to come, but the, the life right now. When you accept Christ as your Savior, you instantly have eternal life from that point on because the Holy Spirit, the Bible says the same Spirit that rose Jesus from the grave lives inside us. Guys, take time to read God's Word. If you want God to speak to you, that's the primary way He's going to do it. We want to see certain things in the clouds and have our Cheerios spell out certain prayer requests or whatever. If you want to know what God has to say about you and your life, you've got to look into God's Word in the Bible. I know it can be confusing. Um, I want to put a link that says... Uh, um, a couple of videos I've done as far as understanding the Bible. It just has about, about four or five minutes that explains the whole Bible in the big picture. That's important. You need, you need to know kind of the big picture of the whole Bible. So I'm going to put a link uh, in the description below of those two videos I did on that. But after that, you dive deep, particularly in the New Testament, and just understand what does God want for your life? Why did he create you? What are your talents? What, what do you need to do with your time? What's the purpose for your life? The Bible is what has those answers. But unless we become interested Unless we become engaged, unless we ask the questions, unless we start searching, we'll never find. Finding is reserved for the searchers. So with this week's YouTube church, I want to ask you, I want to beg you to become interested in the things of God. Now, sometimes it's, it's it, it, like I said, it can get very confusing. We can think, oh man, I don't understand what this is. That's okay. There's going to be things in the Bible that you're not even meant to understand. I think there's some things, the Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. We understand that God, God has some things we just... It's, it's for him to know and us to find out. That's okay. There are many, many, many things in the Bible you can't understand. We just have to become interested. That's your challenge this week. Become interested in God, in the things of God, in the things going on at your church, in, in certain ministries. And, and the more you do this, the, my dad always quotes that verse to me, commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts will be established. You think, well, I don't even think about God. It's because you're not working for God. You get in God's word. You get involved in church. You submit... I'm going to give my life and my time and attention to God. You're going to start thinking about the things of God because that, that's what he puts in your mind. It's the seeds he plants. Become interested, guys. That's your YouTube church. Thank you so much for all the support. And please subscribe. Tell other people about the channel. I love you. Most importantly, God loves you. God bless.